If you, if you refuse to stop doing drugs, get testing kits because fentanyl will kill you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty rough, but with the rehab, uh, program at around that time, not, not long before I lost Ricky, I lost another friend, Drew, and, uh, and my business partner at that time, you know, him and I, we both, you know, were friends with Drew and I was, I was closer with, uh, with Ricky and, um, we decided to start a scholarship program and it was called, uh, we named it the Drew, Drew Badgley Scholarship Program, which was to help people get into drug rehab that didn't have the financial means to, to pay. And the reason, you know, that's important is because when I was a kid, I didn't have private health insurance or, or money. So there was no way I was going to a nice facility like one I had or other ones in Florida or other states that are private. The, the, um, the government facilities... You know, they take Medicare, Medicaid, but some of them have two, three month wait, waiting lists. Addicts can't wait two, three months. You know, they die. And, you know, as you know, it could take it could take one bad dose. They're dead. Yeah. So having a private facility and somebody that really wants to get clean, uh, it's if, if they don't have the right insurance or the right money, you have to turn them down. 